I have to say it's taken a few days, but we quite like Manila now. First purchase for our lunch today, we've got a spring roll, they're called togi. Yeah, so it's vegetarian togi. It was 20 pesos. And the other things look so good. Look at the octopus as well. And the chicken. Yeah, and they come with a little bag of um, vinegar. I think that's Yeah, I think it'd be sweet uh, chili with sweet. garlic maybe. And yeah, are you going to give it a try, Lee? Yeah. Give it a taste, just without the, the garlic. I do love spring rolls. Mm. <laughs> it's good. It's very good. It's really good. Wow. Lovely. What is the uh, Tagalog for delicious? Uh, masarap. Masarap? Yes. It's masarap. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Now, buying a SIM card in the Philippines, it didn't quite go the way we expected it to. We just assumed there'd be like loads of phone shops all over the place, like the way they were like in Sri Lanka and in, in various other countries as well. And so we were wandering around trying to find them and had no luck. Turns out the way to do it under the new scheme where you have to register your SIM card is you go to a 7-Eleven and you choose either Globe or Smart. They're the two big carriers from what we can gather. We chose Globe because apparently they had really good coverage. This is the Go50. It was 50 pesos as the name indicates. And what you have to do is you go online and you download the Globe app and you register your passport, the address of where you're staying. We put the guest house here in Bernondo. And so then you can go onto the Globe app and see all the different specials. And so what we're actually using at the moment is the 99 peso like ultra special, it's amazing. I think we get like up to 18 gigabytes of data for seven days for 99 pesos, which is absolutely brilliant. But so the main thing to remember is don't go looking for a phone shop, for a Globe shop or a smart shop, which is what we did on our first day. We wandered round and round, couldn't find one. Go to 7-Eleven or any like Sari Sari shop, buy the Globe 50 to get started with for 50 pesos, register online, and then you'll be good to go with your data and text and phone calls all around the Philippines. Something that a lot of the regular visitors to the Philippines might be saying is, well, what about the airport SIM cards? Yes, they do sell SIM cards at the airport for Globe and Smart. The difference being like it's a, it's a tourist SIM card and the starting price for that is 1,500 pesos for a month. I mean, and I think you get something like 30 or 40 gig of data, which is crazy, but you don't have to register it. Um, so that's one way around that. Whereas with this, I think this is a far more economical, budget-friendly and data-friendly way of doing it because you get so much data for like such a low price. It's going to be costing us 99 pesos a week. Actually, with the 99 peso plan, you could choose an extra two gig of data or an extra one day. So I went for the one day option. Eight days to 99 pesos. Absolutely brilliant. I've come to one of these nice little restaurants in Chinatown down an alleyway. It's my first lunch. I'm a little bit tired, but we've gone for some rice, which is 15 a portion. Uh, chicken, this looks really nice, at 60. No, that's 80. 80 a portion and... 60 for a green lentils. Green lentils. Are you good with that? Wow. Lovely flavour, very salty. Really good. I think you'll like that, Mandy. Right yeah. Another chicken curry. Chicken curry. Nice, fun, mild. Oh, it's got a nice bit of coconut coming through there as well. Oh, it's a little bit like, yeah, mild Thai green chicken. It's got that kind okay, of thing. Okay, wonderful. And some miso with it as well. No, no, it comes, no. With, it comes with pork soup. Pork, pork soup. Pork broth. Broth. Mm, mm, yeah, that's lovely. This is a great little lunch to start with. Well done, Philippines. So this is my first time traveling, like, you know, post-diagnosis, etc. My first time traveling as a someone who's embracing like the whole foods, plant-based diet. I'm not vegan, I'm not vegetarian as such, but I'm going to steer towards those types of food. And I was a little bit worried about the Philippines. I thought it was just going to be like really like pork-based, chicken-based. But every single place we've seen so far has had at least one vegetarian dish, whether it be tofu. I've got the green lentils on the time here. But there's been tofu, green lentils, or vegetables themselves. And that's really cool. Like I'm, I'm so pleased. It gives me hope. I'm so excited about this dessert we bought from one of the other stalls. It was 20 pesos and apparently it's got banana and jackfruit in it. I'm not too sure. I'm going to do the taste test though. Really excited about trying this thing. I'm not too sure of a, a delicate way of eating it. But oh, can you hear the crunch? Deep fried. Oh wow. Actually. Mm. Oh, there's banana. Look at that lovely yellow banana in there. 
on some sort of palm sugary caramelized stuff on the outside. It's very interesting. I think it's going to be really filling as well. I think great value for 20 pesos. I'm not too sure of the name, so if you do know, can you please write it up in the comments below. We're here at Chinatown and I found lemons. I'm so pleased. They're 20 pesos each, five for a hundred. So I've got five, I'm gonna go home and have delicious lemon water. Really good, really healthy. Awesome, and we're right underneath the Welcome to Manila Chinatown Center here on Onkin Road. So we found another one of these wonderful little hole in the wall places along that same food alley. So a portion of rice is 15. I went for the tofu with vegetables only, no meat, that was 70. This is pumpkin and green beans and coconut. That's delicious, that's 50. And Lee's gone for the famous chicken adobo. Adobo? Sorry, I think that's how they pronounce it. So, it's all going to be tasty. Wow, oh that is delicious. That's really got a lot of flavour. It's like a gravy, but a really nice one. Okay, so what sort of like cinnamon, cloves, coconut, what is um, it? A bit of sweet, a bit of sour, a bit of, yeah, difficult to say really. Okay, <laughs> it's brilliant though. And it comes with soup, uh, pork soup, shall we say. So I'll leave in you know, both of mine. But apart from that, Lee, do you want to try the, this one? That's nice, yeah. Mm. It's, um, I don't know if there's some coconut in there or something like that. Yeah. This is the tofu. Again, really tasty. Yeah, I think you're going to like both of them. Excellent, I'm so pleased. And the fact that it's open in the evening is brilliant because all the other ones are morning and lunch only. I have to say it's taken a few days, but we quite like Manila now. The first, I don't know, first impression, first 48 hours were like, oh my word, what have we got ourselves into? This place is like rough and ready and you know what I mean? I didn't actually video very much because I was afraid to take the GoPro out. But now, like, you know, third day in, we're here by the Chinese Filipino Friendship Arch. And I've got to say, like, Fernando is such a great place to stay. We were a bit concerned at first because the reports are, you know, gritty, a bit rough, but maybe a bit dodgy. But it's so brilliantly located. We're going to go for a walk now across to Rizal Park. And yeah, to Manila. Like, it's a slow, slow, I don't know, awakening. But we do like you. So come back for tomorrow, this lovely Toron. This is fantastic. It's like um, pastry on the outside, banana inside, and jackfruit. 20 pesos each. And we're going to get two. Lovely uh, sort of oh, like burnt caramel. sugar yeah. on the outside, caramelized. They make them so wonderful. We're going to get two this time and go and sit and eat them in the park. So it turns out that ruined building we saw from the bridge is actually the central post office. Oh my word. It looks like it's had a big fire and it's destroyed it. Hopefully they can rebuild it because it looks a fantastic building. Yeah, bring it back to life. Wow. Look at that, they've still got the postman at the front. I don't know if you can see him like standing there on yeah. a statue. The mail must get through. Yes. Oh. One of the things I can't get over in the Philippines, like in Manila at least, is how many different types of transport there are. Like, in addition to the lovely National Museum, You've got your famous jeepneys here but then you've also got so many other types of vehicles as well you've got these very interesting i'm not too sure if they're like a an electric type of tuk tuk we've just walked down to rizal park we finally made it uh behind me is the massive filipino flag just up there and then to the right is rizal the man himself uh, and it's a beautiful park. We're going to wander around and enjoy the scenery around here. Hopefully, before the weather turns. And no, look at the sky. It was gloriously sunny. I'm just so pleased we went to the Rizal Museum yesterday when we went into Fort Santiago. It was fascinating. So it turns out he spoke 22 languages. Like the guy was incredible. He was a doctor. He was a cartoonist, famous artist. He wrote songs. He made he did sculptures. And he's basically the, I don't know, the father of the Filipino nation. And here's this wonderful shrine for him. Oh, this Turon, it's absolutely incredible. Look at all of that burnt sugar around it. Let's just check, is it nice and crispy? Mmm! Did 
you hear that crunch? Delicious. Trevor comes to a standstill, so the motorbikes take to the street. Brilliant. On the pavement. Quickest way to go. What do you think, Lee? Yeah, you gotta watch out. <laughs> Get your eyes out everywhere around here, haven't you? We've got another delicious lunch down this wonderful alleyway. And today we've gone for got tofu. And we've got apparently this is I think banana. Banana flour. flour. Yeah, that sounds really cool. And we have um, beans. I thought they were going to be vegetarian, but I think there's a rogue bit of meat there, so I'm not too sure <laughs> how that got in there. Plate, yeah. But then Lee got this delicious looking beef dish. It's called beef. And of course, we've got the soups as well. They're like the pork broth and two rice. We think it's going to be 300 pesos. Mm. And we have here our lovely table mate who's given me some advice already. Nice to meet you. <laughs> your name is? It's nice to get some explanation on uh, the food. Do you exactly. want to try anything, okay. Mandy? Yeah. So, the banana flour. I don't think we've ever had this before. Did you say it was something else, not banana flour? That's what she explained. Mm. Actually, do you know the part of the banana? Part of the banana, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Banana heart. How is it? Slightly vinegary, not, not vinegary, but it's it's not sweet. It's delicious. I'll try a bean. Good, they're not too well cooked, so I like them. And then the tofu. Mmm. It's got a lovely sauce. Um there's a the tricky sauce? bit. Yeah. I've got, I'm just gonna swap it over and get get Lee's take on this one. I'm the only one eating meat at the moment. Again, lovely gravy. It, it tastes a little bit like the adobo that I had the other day. Is ah. it, would it be adobo? It on, it's not yeah. adobo, is it? No, it's not. Okay. okay. But if you go into cook it, it's going to be the same as it over. However, you're just going to put a tomato sauce on it. Tomato sauce? Ah, yeah. to make it adobo. So yeah. it will become a Ah, I see. Um, there we go. Wonderful. Another new Filipino dish for me. Fantastic. And they're so tasty. Mm. 